Now, I don't know who needs to hear this, but stop trying so hard with your manifestation. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kenneth Wong, Manifestation Coach. From working with my coaching clients, trying too hard is one of the most common ways people block their desires from manifesting. When people start manifesting, so many people get so overly excited about the techniques, the affirmations, the visualization that they almost become kind of obsessed with it. They think that the more that they do, the more results they're going to get. But that is entirely false. What you believe, you shall receive. That is how simple manifestation is. But here is the problem. Some people try to hack this equation by spending all of their efforts trying to impress new beliefs into their system and hoping that it will manifest. All of that trying, all of that scheming, all of that doing means that you have an underlying belief that you don't believe that good things can come easily. And when you have limiting beliefs like good things don't come easily to me, the universe is like, sure, here you go. Here are more outcomes that prove that good things can't come easily to you. Whatever we believe in is a vibrational request to the universe asking for what we want, whether we want it or not. I know this for a fact because I used to be the one that would try so hard with manifesting. I would write my affirmations every day, go and visualize every night, and yet no results. And the reason why that is, is because I had limiting beliefs. What I learned from that is that the universe doesn't pick and choose which belief of yours to respond to, right? Even if you do manage to create this new belief that you have what you want, if you have 10 other beliefs that go against it, you'll never be able to manifest what you want because the universe responds to the sum of your beliefs. So if you're watching this video and you think that you might be the person that is trying too hard, just pause and ask yourself, why am I trying so hard? This question will help you identify all of the limiting beliefs that are in your system. Some of the most common limiting beliefs when people try too hard when manifesting is believing that the universe doesn't have their back. Maybe you believe that good things don't come easily to you, or if you don't do it, nobody else will. Or you don't trust that life is working out for you. Or you believe that it takes blood, sweat, and tears to get what you want in life. Whatever belief that you have is a request to the universe. And the universe is always saying yes to what you believe in. If you do not believe that the universe has your back, you would just simply manifest situations that prove that the universe doesn't have your back. If you believe that it takes blood, sweat, and tears to get what you want, then you'll manifest experiences that prove that it does take blood, sweat, and tears to get what you want, right? So that is why it's really important to know what your limiting beliefs are, right? Because otherwise, you'll be wasting your time trying to affirm and create these new beliefs when you have, you know, 10 other beliefs in your system that are working against you. Remember that manifesting is supposed to be easy right? It's all about doing less and attracting more. Once I really got that and once I really embodied this truth that I can do less and attract more, everything I wanted just came into my existence effortlessly. Nowadays, I don't even have to consciously do any techniques to manifest what I want because I've truly reprogrammed my beliefs to accept that, yes, good things can come easily. Yes, the universe does have my back. And yes, it doesn't take blood, sweat, and tears to get what I want. So the next time you catch yourself trying a little bit too hard or obsessing a little bit too much over a manifestation, simply ask yourself, why? Why am I doing this? Why do I feel the need to try so hard? Why am I obsessing? Once you become brave enough to ask yourself why, to look beneath the wound, that's when you can begin to heal your limiting beliefs. After you have identified your limiting beliefs, ask yourself, how is this belief serving me? Chances are they're not. The only reason why we hold on to a belief is because we think it serves us in some way. For example, if we think that good things don't come easily to us, then it shields us from disappointment, 
Once you have identified your limiting beliefs, there are so many things you can do to reprogram them and to transform them into beliefs that actually serve you. You can go back to the situation when that limiting belief was formed and do some inner child work or do some forgiveness practice. Or you can create new affirmations to replace that belief whenever it is coming up. Or you can do emotional freedom technique or tapping to clear away that energetic hold that that belief has on you and introduce a new belief that will serve you better. Now I want to hear from you. If you identify as someone who tries too hard when it comes to manifesting, then comment down below why. Why do you feel the need to try so hard and then how is this belief not serving you? Remember that the first step to healing your limiting belief is to call it out. So use this comment section to out your limiting belief and start healing it right now. Now, if you want me to be your manifestation coach, then just click the link down below, head over to my website, manifestwithken.com to sign up for my coaching. I can help you get the results that you want by helping you identify any areas of resistance and give you the exact steps you need to take in order to call in your desire. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos in the future. So as always, thank you so much for watching my video. I'll see you in the next one.